Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines. And I'm over here at our tree nursery. We just got back from, well, we actually got back last night and it's morning now, uh, from getting our seedlings, some fruit seedlings. And we were supposed to get them in Davao, but we did not make it to Davao. We got a special pass from the Department of Health uh, for the lockdown to go pick up our seedlings and come right back. Um, but when we drove six hours to Davao and went through like 25 different checkpoints, we got there and they wouldn't let us, they wouldn't let us into the city um, in order to pick up our seedlings. So on our way back, we stopped at uh, Malai Balai and we ended up picking up seedlings. So we did get, we were able to get some and that was a, a rough ride. Uh, I took the elf here and uh, I did, I do have some brake failure on that. Uh, I've got to get that fixed immediately. And we had an issue with the brakes when we bought it, took it back to get it fixed. Uh, I don't know if it's the same issue or if it's something else, but it seems like there's some air getting into the line because I'm, I'm, the brakes pedals going all the way to the floor. And when you're driving in the mountains, it's, it's a little, yeah, it's a little uh, concerning. So, uh, these are the mangosteen over here. And these are the rambutan. Uh, these are the durian, which we actually got shorted on. Uh, we were supposed to, everything else is, seems to be okay so far, except for the durian. Uh, the durian are... Uh, there were supposed to be 109 durian, and we only got 103 durian. So uh, we had some leftover teak wood from before. We used all our mahogany. In fact, we needed more mahogany, so I had an area where there were some that I could just dig up over here. So I used those. Uh, these are the falcata, which are, are kind of sprouting. They're not doing so good. Um, so we got a—I don't know—I don't want the same issues happening to the, these falcata over here happening to these guys because these guys aren't coming up too good but um oh if i mentioned it these are the lanzonis over here and those are the guibano over there so, and we'll be we want to let these sit in the nursery for at least a week before we transfer them out into the field where they're going to be planted um, and that's where i have the blue sticks for the where their areas are and the holes, most of the holes have already been dug for them. Uh, we're still digging those holes. And most of these, I have two rows of each of them. And I'm thinking about, because of that space in between, that we want to add a, a banana. And I wanted to use my tissue cultures, but that's another thing. We weren't able to get into Davao to get our tissue cultures that we have a deposit on, a pretty significant deposit. So. And I wanted to get those tissue cultures in the ground so they could get established and give these guys a little shade. So that's going to be, that is going to be an issue. But we have some other bananas that are planted nearby because we're intercropping the banana and cacao uh, next to these. So those can provide some shade, but it's really the ones, the row in between I really wanted to. And then that row would eventually disappear as these guys got more mature. So that's an issue. Probably we'll call them, let them know about the durian. They were, they were nice folks, and they let us. They'll probably just give us the extra seven on the way by next time. But I don't, I don't want to make that trip again. It's a miserable experience in the elf here. The elf is a pretty uncomfortable truck. Uh, it's, it's already used up the lifespan of it and it runs it just runs horribly but not only that the way the these seats are like that the seat doesn't even go back um, this was taken and then like like spun around it just doesn't sit right with your cheeks the whole then that long ride you, you feel it because it shifts your your butt the wrong way and then it's sh and then this doesn't sit with the back right it looks looks okay there but that was an uncomfortable ride. I only want to take that back to Davao once to get those tissue cultures and maybe some fill-in um, seedlings. 
but that's that's fine. We can get our seedlings. These seedlings look pretty good as far as the seedlings I've seen. Not the best, but. Um, and the uh, mangosteen and the guibano are not not grafted. They're straight from seed. The uh, but the uh, rambutan, the durian, and the lanzonis are all um, grafted. So we're looking forward to getting these in. I just need to take care of them in the nursery here, keep them healthy. But I've got to be busy getting getting some of that prepped. Uh, I want the holes dug for those bananas that are going in between. Just already at least the stick in there because I don't want to go through there with uh, sticks and end up and end up knocking these guys inadvertently. Um, trying to get the the halfway point and then messing these guys up. So yeah, lots of work to do and yeah, happy to get these in the ground for the rainy season. And I'll keep it updated as we're putting them in the ground and, and, and how they're doing. So that's all for now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.